Hello everyone, this is Meghnath. In this video, I'm going to explain how to upgrade Windows 10 to Windows 11. So Microsoft officially announced Windows 11 on October 5th, 2021, and everyone can install it. But before that, you need to make sure whether your system supports Windows 11 upgrade or not. So now let's get started. Open your favorite browser and search for Windows 11 upgrade. So I'm just searching for Windows 11 upgrade. And once you search for Windows 11 upgrade, you will see here, download Windows 11 Microsoft. Now, this is official website, you can see this, microsoft.com slash. Now I'm going to open this. So you can see here, so microsoft.com slash enus slash software download Windows 11. So that's a URL. So I'm going to put this URL in the description section of this YouTube video. So you can actually click on that link directly. Now here you can see there are three options Microsoft is providing for you. So one is using Windows 11 installation assistant. And the second option you have is uh, create Windows 11 installation media. And the third option is download Windows 11 disk image. Now normally you can prefer the third option in case if you want to install it in multiple systems using like copying this to a pen drive when you want to install it to multiple systems, you can go with this. But since I don't want to download it to a pen drive and create a reusable image, so I'm going with the first option. But before you go to the first option, if you see here, Microsoft has clearly mentioned a step. Before installing, please refer to PC Health Check app. So using this app, you can check whether if your computer supports Windows 11 upgrade or not. So let's do that. So I'm going to click on this PC Health Checkup app. Now it'll download an app now. So you can see here, download PC Health Check app. Click on that. Now you can see there, a small app got downloaded. And now I click on this, show in folder. And let me install this. Double click on this. And I accept the terms, click on install. Now I click on finish. So you can see here while finishing, it's asking me open Windows PC Health Check. Let me click on finish. Now you can see here, introducing Windows 11. Let me click on check now. So I click on this check now. And it shows the PC, this PC meets Windows 11 requirements. So that's a good thing. So this PC meets the Windows requirement. Now, now what I can do is, now my, as I know that my PC supports now Windows 11 upgrade, and I'll go back to the previous URL that I opened. So you can see here, download Windows 11. Now. I will be installing using Windows 11 Installation Assistant. Let's see this. Now before that, you'll have a lot of questions in your mind. What happens to my softwares that I've installed? What happens to my files that are present in my system? So if you see here in my computer, so if I go to this PC, so I have some files in, in classes folder, I have some files. And in E drive, I have some files like Python, or if you see in my desktop, I have, uh, let's go to my desktop. So I have a folder called archive and inside that I have some files. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to install Windows 11 and see if these files will get deleted or not. Now it's always a good practice to take a backup of the files before you install any upgrade, any operating system. But let's see what happens once I upgrade it. You also will have questions, what happened to the software that I've installed? Now I'm going to show that to you. So I'll open control panel and go to programs, programs and features. Now you can see here, I've installed some softwares in my system. I have installed Microsoft SQL Server and I've also installed Visual Studio um, Code. I've installed Firefox, so PyCharm Community Edition. So I've installed a lot of softwares. Now once I upgrade to Windows 11, let's see if these softwares will be there or do we need to reinstall. A couple of things we're going to check whether the softwares that I've already installed will be there or not. And the second thing is whether my files will be deleted or not. So two things I'll be showing you after I install Windows 11. So let's get started. I'll go back to the folder and I'm proceeding with um, Windows 11 installation assistant. I've already checked that my PC is compatible using Windows PC ch health check. Now let me click on download now. So I'm installing using Windows 11 installation assistant. And one more thing, if you are installing Windows 11 upgrade, please make sure that your internet connection is stable and the time, in, time it takes for installation depends on a couple of things. The processor speed that you have and also the internet speed that you have. So 
So make sure you check it before you proceed. So there is a app speedtest.net using which you can check your internet speed. So let me click on this go. So I'm just checking my internet speed using this app speedtest.net. You can see here I almost have like uh, 60 Mbps and that should be that's a decent speed now. So let me close this up. I'll go back and I have downloaded this using Windows 11 Assistant go to the downloads folder show in folder and you can see here I have this Windows 11 installation assistant double click on this now I'm opening this click on yes now it'll open a small pop-up install Windows 11 good news this PC meets a system requirement to install Windows 11 click on accept and install and now it starts downloading so there are three steps that you see here step one of three it's a downloading so this purely depends on the internet speed that you have. So the more internet speed you have, the more quickly it will be done. So let's see how long it's going to take for me, depending on my internet speed. You can see here it's almost 98% done. So it took almost seven minutes for me to complete this 99%. And now it's making things ready. So once download is done, it's verifying the download. This is a second step. The first step is downloading, the second step is verifying download. So this will be a bit quicker than the download. So the first step depends purely on your internet speed. So step three you can see, installing. The good thing about this is you can see here it's okay to keep using your PC, but we'll restart the PC 30 minutes after we reach 100% on the screen. So be sure to save your work frequently. So they're clearly telling that so you can even use while this Windows 11 is getting installed and uh, make sure to save your work. Okay, so we'll restart your PC 30 minutes after you reach 100% on the screen. Okay. Okay, so now you can see that my installation is done. So now my system is going to restart in another 23 minutes. So it took almost around um, 25 minutes for me to complete the installation of Windows 11. So now I can either restart, select restart now, or I can leave it for 22 minutes. It's going to restart automatically. So I'm going to click on restart now. So once I restart, I'll show you how, I mean, you need to follow the same um, traditional steps. It'll be straightforward. So it'll show you a startup window and where you need to click on next, next, and complete the Windows, Windows 11 installation. So this is how you need to install Windows 11. Now, once I restart my system, I'll log into Windows 11 operating system. I'll show you whether my softwares and files are there or not. So let me click on restart now. Okay, so now my PC has restarted multiple times and now you can see here that I have now Windows 11. So let me show some differences here. So Windows 11, uh, you can see the menu at the bottom, same like your MacBook. So click on this uh, Windows button. So you can see here it's showing uh, the apps that I have. So it looks really cool. And uh, let's verify whether my files uh, that are there previously before installation is there or not. So I'll go back to the folder and I go to this PC and you can see here in my um, uh, classes, I, I, I still have the files and I go back to my uh, courses. I still have the folder and go to my desktop. You can see my folder is there. And let's verify if my softwares that I have or not so click on this and type here control panel and go to programs and programs and features and I have my PyCharm installed as usual and Python is installed and I have my SQL server installed so I don't see any softwares that got uninstalled I don't see the files getting deleted when I upgrade from Windows 10 to Windows 11 so for me it took almost like one hour um, one over 15 minutes to complete the installation from Windows 10 to 11. So I hope this video will help you to understand how to upgrade from Windows 10 to Windows 11. So in the next video I'm going to post you what are the features that you find differences between Windows 11 and Windows 10. So I'll be exploring this for a couple of days and then I'll post that video. Thank you so much. See you in the next video.